Hey YouTube, it's Meredith and today I'm doing a reaction video to um, the end of the world video, the April 18th end of the world um, YouTube video because someone at my school had told me about it and I was like that's not real and then he was like yes it is and he showed me the video and then I was going to watch it in class but he was like you should just make a whole video on it so I was like you know what you're right so what we're about to do is watch the video On the 13th of March, a Twitter user named Tyler uploaded a video about a mysterious voicemail he received. I'm gonna play the video for you and then go through his posts. Pay close attention. Why do you keep saying Echo, Oscar? Oscar, Echo, Victor, Alpha, Charlie, Uniform, Alpha, it's Echo, a uniform. Echo, Bravo, Echo, Charlie, Alpha, Uniform, Tango, India. It's a long Oscar, video, bro. Uniform, Sierra, Tango, Hotel, Echo, Yankee, Alpha, Romeo, Echo, November, Oscar, Tango, what is it even doing? Hotel. Mike, Alpha, November, 0429339642 Sierra, Oscar, Sierra, Delta, Alpha, November. They left a Go. whole minute Echo. voicemail just Romeo. saying the same thing Sierra. over and over again. Oscar. The message in the voicemail appears to be sent through something called the Fionetic Alphabet. It is often used by the military or police forces to spell out a message when talking over the radio when it is too hard to understand what is being said. Basically, taking the first letter of each word should spell out a message. And Tyler figured this out. It literally translates to danger SOS. It is dire for you to evacuate. Be cautious. They are not human. SOS danger SOS and then gives coordinates. I am throwing my phone away. A user then asks, wait, what are the coordinates? Some place on the coast of Indonesia. I don't even know. Later on, Tyler receives a message from a user with a seemingly random name and in a different language. When translated, the message turns into and the post you just shared about the recording on your phone. Tyler then posted. Okay, I'm sitting in my car right in front of my house, in my car, and this guy started taking pictures of my house with flash. Then he walked away. Literally, what the fuck? It's 3 a.m. I am going to die tonight. Also, I should probably include that this happened a few days ago before I got that voicemail. I really am about to go into hiding. Soon after, a user crazy. named Uzumaki came up with a pretty interesting theory. This is what it says, pay close attention that there's an S right before danger, meaning that the recording is on a continuous loop, it's not a message set to play once it goes to voicemail. Also, someone pointed out that the coordinates given are very close to where the Malaysian airplane went down. What if you're hearing the black box recording? And a black box records the last interactions with a plane. That's why it's an SOS and save our ship. It was trying to warn us. This is scaring me also, so much. Also, and this much. is just to add on my theory because a black box records an audio message. It also records flight information as well, which is why it gives coordinates. This is where it gets a little far more out. It's an unknown number. Now, an unknown number isn't always a block number. A computer will still read it as unknown. This is also all happening after two large solar flares were just released, causing a soon-to-be solar storm. And if you don't know, they cause electromagnetic pulses in our atmosphere. So with more electromagnetic activity in the air, this is why random people would be getting this call, because the signal would be amplified and sent to further ranges. With the solar flares happening closer to southern Asia, Australia, this is why it's happening now. Okay, okay, okay. A user then asks, if these black box recordings match the voicemail, are you saying that Malaysia Flight 370 encountered something non-human? To which Yuzumaki responds, 
This is great of you guys to ask, because this part is gonna get really fucking crazy. Yes, they encountered something non-human. The message was saying to evacuate because they are not human. Something or someone on that plane wasn't human. This is scaring me. Later on, Tyler then posted a few screenshots of messages he received. Can someone translate this? I just woke up and I'm too tired to do it. But even though they're probably fake, this is still kind of funny that I'm getting messages like this. This is most of the Morse code translation. Message received is well related to Stephen Hawking's death. You are not ready to face them. Stephen Hawking did say something bad was going to happen to the world in 2018. This is crazy. They are taking over. Whoa, who is Another user by the name of Kai tweeted in response to Tyler. I got the same thing when my boyfriend called me and he couldn't hear it but I could. The message in Kai's voicemail translates to not human, followed by a number and then SOS. A YouTuber tried calling the number and got this result. I don't wanna hear it. I don't wanna hear it. That's an emergency. Hello. Hello. For difficulty making or completing calls, hang up and dial star 611. For all the billing of a call, hang up and dial 1-800-COLLECT. Announcement 15. Switch to 8-6. Okay, alright. That wasn't that scary. I thought it was gonna be... Although the result looks interesting, there are quite a few yeah, comments still debunking this. like six minutes left. These are coordinates. I have seen messages like this before. It's pretty normal. Also completely normal that it hangs itself up. I've worked with both Samsung and Verizon. Normally those messages are deployed when there are too many digits. Investigating this further leads us to the user that sent Tyler the threat earlier. His first post was made on the 15th of March, the day he also joined Twitter. The message is translated from Arabic into warning, they are coming. Day. That's a video was also posted containing the same pattern as seen in previous voicemails. The message Some in this aliens? one translates to emergency 41818. What's these numbers mean you know? What all these posts have in common is the numbers at the end 41818, which is actually a date 18th of April 2018. The last tweet posted by the account so no. far translates to no. they're coming in four weeks. Prepare yourselves. No, they're not. They're really not. This Following the account, another user attempted this to decode his posts. Loki, I Loki decoded this one. Whoa. Okay, over there watching. Beware. <sighs> this is so scary. Another user named Gabrielle replied My to Tyler saying. This is one of the accounts that DM'd you. I'm scared. Following up with a video. What is that saying? What is that saying? I reversed the audio in the clip as it was obviously playing backwards. And this is what I got. Following up on the audio in the clip, it sounds like a transmission of the Malaysia Flight 370. On its wiki page, it says, Lampo Radar is the name of the frequency used for in route air traffic. Lampo Radar cleared flight 370 to flight level 350. Flight 370's crew reported to Lampo Radar that they had reached flight level 350, which they confirmed again. An external video is linked on the wiki page called Sounds from Inside Flight 370's Cockpit. I'm only gonna play a portion of the clip and I want you to pay close attention and see if you spot anything suspicious. Okay. That's 
the same sound. That's the same thing played backwards. Station three seven zero, climb flight level three five zero. If you haven't noticed, the clip I just showed you contains the exact audio as the one in the Twitter post. This is the first major step in debunking this mystery. This concludes that the anonymous user that DM Tyler downloaded a public YouTube video, reversed its audio and uploaded it. Now, this isn't enough evidence to prove that this whole thing is fake. As far as we know, anyone could make a fake account and upload spooky reverse videos. And by the looks of it, the account doesn't match the one that first threatened Tyler, but it's still worth looking into. Moving on, another user posted this. By typing in this number, it directed me to leave a tone post. This test has been completed. Congratulations. The same account that posted the reversed audio earlier uploaded a QR code. After using an online scanner, the code translates to this. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. So, after a full investigation into the mysterious user, who will now call April 666, this is all the encrypted messages he posted. April? You may not find 370, but you can find what caused it, go 370. 370. And you don't have to find who caused it. They will just find Oh, is that like a plane that went missing? They are not different bees. They are within us. This is scary. Please don't mistake them as other beings that are you, but related, unrelated. You are gonna choose yourself. You're gonna find, find, a, find the cosmos being. The reason so I am the sending editing. the earth beings this message is because I am disguising myself from your ancestors. Hence, this is a final goodbye. A final goodbye. Rather scary, yo. A Reddit user then posted another screenshot of a message Tyler appears to be receiving, which translates to, All will die. Dispel the bad. Bruh. According to Reddit, April666 renamed its account to Sakata370. Unfortunately, the account was taken down, but using the Wayback Machine, I was able to find it. Most posts contain encrypted messages. Luckily for us, a lot more QR codes are present. The first one reveals a website called planecrashinfo.com. The second one leads to a forum called UFO Casebook, which is a huge topic regarding the missing plane. I'm not gonna go okay, through the whole so thing, as is, it would take days. Okay, so this is about days. a plane that, that went missing, and now the people on the plane were like aliens or something, so they're gonna take over? Is this what it's saying? I'm so confused. What's that? That looks like, um... Is this is a, uh, like a, uh... Four eighteen eighteen. What is that? That looks like a mom with a baby. So that's it. That's all that he had to say. So pretty much, this is what I said. He's trying to tell us that there, this plane that crashed, crashed somewhere and went missing. And they found recordings and they got people, these little animals texting people saying, oh, we're going to take over the world. We're going to take over the world. And then they got... This plane went missing, but I guess something on it wasn't human, so aliens or something other than that, some type of something. And pretty much the world is going to end on um, April 18th, which I don't believe that. And I don't know. I just don't believe that. I don't think that that's true because they always say the world is going to end. They said the world was going to end in 2012. They said the world was going to end whenever the Mayan cal Maya cal cal calendar had ended. 
They said the world was gonna end last year. They always say the world's gonna end. So this is just something else that they found, which yeah, it's really scary. The one part that was really scary was the homework. Whenever the girl had the homework and she had decoded it, that was scary. And the beginning with the voicemail, that was scary, which it is kind of weird that that they're getting all these numbers and it's like saying different things to them. That's weird and it's scary, but I still don't think the world's gonna end. I think that it's just like, people are just doing shady stuff to make us all scared and be like, oh my gosh, the world's gonna end. But yeah, so to the boy at school that told me to do this and to all of you guys, if y'all wanted to know what I was talking about or wanted to know what everyone was talking about, talking about the world's gonna end, there y'all go. That's the video. Y'all just seen it here and y'all tell me if y'all think it's real or if y'all think it's fake. Tell me if y'all know any more information. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram if you don't already. And bye.